I'm excited. I'm really excited to welcome BAMCOR CEO Hal Hinkler to the stage. And let me tell you why I'm so excited. Hal and his team are addressing two critical industry challenges with BAMCOR, climate change and inefficient building processes. And, and climate change is something I feel very passionate about. And when I first heard about the story and saw what they were doing, I was blown away. And I think you will be too. BAMCOR set out to create a connected construction experience for housing, reimagining how buildings come together with sustainably harvested bamboo. Hal, it's great to have you here today. Thank you, Susanna. Those are the two great challenges the built world faces today and will face for decades to come, climate and inefficiency in both construction and operations. To address them, we have to find ways to reduce the carbon, cost, and labor that goes into our buildings. At BAMCOR, we've known from our beginning that we had to change the material used in our buildings, moving away from concrete steel and even wood toward timber bamboo, nature's fastest growing structural fiber. Whether per area of land for growing or per time to harvest, bamboo is somewhere between 400% and 1000% or 10 times more productive than wood. And bamboo has amazing mechanical properties. It can have the tensile strength of steel and nearly the compressive strength of concrete. At BAMCOR, we use these properties to make super strong panelized walls that eliminate nearly all the studs, headers, and posts in conventional framing. And when you eliminate the studs, you get a far more thermally and acoustically efficient envelope. But once we got going, we learned we had to change more than the material. We also had to change the method. Here's how that happened. After we manufacture the high performance panels, we fabricate them in the factory to the specific job to millimeter accuracy. We do this by taking the AutoCAD file and building a 3D BIM model in Revit and turning that into a CAM file to drive custom fabrication in the factory. This is just the basic workflow of industrialized construction. But to explain our system, our new system, we had to spend a lot of time emailing loads of PDFs to all the players in a typical build. Architect, engineer, framer, subcontractors, and other manufacturers. That is, until we started using the Forge platform. Forge allowed us to share the full 3D BIM model with everybody in the workflow, whether they were in the architect studio, at the engineer's office, or even on the job site. And since the viewing could be done on a browser, advanced computer skills were not required. Every stakeholder could benefit. It was like democratizing BIM. Right out of the gate, we were able to share interactive palette lists and bills of lading, and importantly, a job site animation tool to show exactly how to install the walls. We had the beginnings of an orchestrated workflow that went from design through manufacturing to construction, but it didn't stop there. Since Forge is a two-way platform, we can also collect information from all the stakeholders too. What was once a disconnected workflow can finally converge. Using Forge, we will be giving to the trades the ability to generate their own takeoffs and bids right from our BIM model. They can even mark locations for every line, pipe, or cable for their crew and do this in a browser with simple drop-down menus. We then print these utility locations, color-coded, right on the panels, which in effect closes the industrialized construction loop. This orchestrated workflow funnels all the jobs through the BIM model to custom fabrication and onto the job site for visually guided installation, lowering the need for a large, highly skilled labor pool, speeding the installation, and lowering job site waste. And it doesn't matter whether you are the architect, the engineer, framer, electrician, or plumber, or if you're on a desktop or a cell phone. All of this comes together in our design bid build platform that converges all the workflow together through Forge. And when we put these pieces together, we started looking for other ways to achieve team convergence, especially relative to the sustainability of each building, where carbon must be dealt with and bamboo may be our most promising tool. And that led us back to the design phase where we realized that new environmental decision tools were becoming available that plugged right into Revit. Once the BIM model is built, 
Building designers and owners can use the Autodesk Insight software or Tally software to project price and energy savings during operations, as well as embodied carbon savings during construction when they switch to the BAMCOR high-performance wall system instead of using conventional framing with concrete steel or studs. To lower the carbon cost and labor of the built world will require the adoption of industrialized construction. Today, we see two paths forward. The first path leads to simple static factory automation producing mostly modular uniform units. On the second path, the workflow is orchestrated across all the members of the team and the participating industries converge instead of being fragmented into silos. Importantly, this path can lead to mass customization while still providing the efficiencies of industrialized construction. And this can take us into a future where the entire built world can service individually at a lower cost while also protecting the climate. But this can only happen when the workflow from design to bid to build is orchestrated around a single BIM model that is interactively available to all members in the job workflow. Forge does this. Forge allows the whole team to converge. Thank you, Hal. This to me is a double win in the path to better. BAMCOR achieved a groundbreaking business solution that's also sustainable. They use Forge to bridge the gaps between design, manufacturing, and construction. Just look at how many problems they solved. Disconnected teams, job site mistakes, labor shortages, and all of that while using more sustainable materials. That's how Forge enables convergence.